Hey, what's up guys? This is JD from Breast Media and today we are going to continue the last episode of the school management system. In this episode, we are going to complete a login template design and login model. So first of all, let me copy the login template from our HTML source. Uh, paste it to the root directory and let's rename it to login.psp here we convert the login page to psp and let's rename the title school management system so in the footer part we can see the Gentilla. So I want to replace it to school management system. Now we will change the rest of thing in later. For the moment we don't need the registration module. So I am going to delete it. Okay. The section is left here. Let's delete the section also. And pull up the div. So, here we are going to remove the anchor link uh, in the unnecessary space. Before we start, let's include the necessary configuration and database file here. Include config. Uh, slash config.psp which is the configuration file and uh, next one is our db class which is config slash db.psp so let's create the object of db class new db all right now we can use the base url here for the resources files psp echo dollar db base url and we have complete and uh, let's uh, copy same code to the custom css also all right so we have done all of the necessary thing let's update the form here we don't have the action and methods let's name it uh, login and method equals to post action is null that means self action and let's change the heading one to school login here we can see the placeholder only and there is no id and name of these two input values i want to name them so this one is the username and the second one is password so let's change the anchor link to input button input type equals to button so we can use same class and let's remove the href tags and put the id uh, let's name it login and change the type to submit so that we can use it as a submit button and name it login and the value is login and let's remove the rest of the anchor tag which we will not use here and remove the create account also
and just delete unnecessary space so the code will see clean let's open our browser and check the page localhost slash school mgmt slash here we can see the index page which we have completed in the last episode and now we have login.php page and here it is working fine we will decorate it later now let's create the form post functionalities where we can check if is set dollar underscore post username and it set dollar underscore post password then let's close the PSP tag and end it we're gonna check the value if dollar first username not equals to null and dollar on this group post parser not equals to null then we can check the login credential so i am assigning the value to user login and we will use a method user login having the content trimming post username and again trim post password so we have the result into the user login so we can echo p class equals to error login and then we can echo the user login error here sorry it's small and close the paragraph tag then we can end it so we have completed the sub, uh, submit method here and we need to create another function so let's check the login.psp page and here we will use username and password click login means there is no method so we are going to create a method in our db.psp class before we go to the method uh, let's update the getros method so that it can take some of the select parameter first of all uh, let's comment this one sorry uh, this one only and we will check if uh, there is a select key then we will use uh, select option to select the different columns if array key exits which is select and then the parameter will be conditions then we'll have the options otherwise in the else condition we can assign dollar sql 
dot equals to asterisk. If we don't have the array key select, then we will use asterisk. Otherwise, in slice the i value, i equals to 0 for each dollar conditions, which is select key as field. Sorry, fields. Dollar pre equals to dollar i is greater than zero. Then we'll use comma. Otherwise, it will be null. Let's terminate it and SQL dot equals to we'll use the pre then concat the field and increment the i value all right so this method will you will be useful for us to select multiple column so here we can create a new method which will be useful for our user login function okay I'm going to write a comment so that everyone will understand this one is the user login account so let's create the public function user login which will have two parameter username and password in this login method we will check uh, if the username is exist or not first so we are going to get rows from tbl users And we will have the array parameter where we'll use select, which is a array value, where we will check the username first, which is dollar username, and in the where condition we'll use array username which is the post value username or parameter username and user status is active so let's see and if uh, this value will return us if the username is exist or not after this query we can check the user to get rows from the same table tbl users and we will check using array and where condition so we don't need any columns here we will select all of the columns in array we will use username again which is username 
then password which is password and let's again check the user status here which is active so we can check two times the user username is exist or not and again for the password so let's check is array dollar user and the size of user is greater than zero uh, we can assign the system values so let's end if and assign the session values so that we can use it later in the other pages username those two dollar user and username the same username from the database then session user id which is auto increment value of the id table from table the next one is the user type which we will assign different kinds of menus later user type all right if all of the session is set then we can assign the URL to redirect which is index.php so let's echo and I am going to use the meta refresh redirect to redirect to the index page after the successful login content equals to zero then URL equals to dollar URL and let's close the meta tag in the else condition we can return invalid user credential uh, this one is the inner one that's why we check the credential so end it another s is which return user does not exist or user not found in our system all right let's uh, remove one of the endip here because we have two endip okay let's move it forward so guys we have complete our user login method here and we can check in our database we have admin user and admin password so let's refresh the login.psp page and use the admin username and admin password and press the login so here we can see the index page we have successfully completed our login test so let's enter the wrong password we can see invalid user credentials and let's use the wrong username and check user not found in our system so we have complete the login model here and we'll continue rest of the code in the next episode keep watching and do not forget to subscribe us have a good day bye bye see you